Welcome back for another uh, toolkit recording for our integrated Math 2 program here. Uh, what we're going to be working on uh, today is the idea of factoring quadratics. And you might be saying to yourself, well, what does that mean exactly? And, and what it means is we're used to multiplying binomials. So for instance, let's say we had x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4. We're used to doing a some sort of a generic rectangle or foil or something like that, and we come out with an answer of x squared plus 7x plus 12. So that's what we call multiplying binomials in this case. But what if we were working backwards? In other words, we had our answer, and we had to ask ourselves, well, what multiplies to be that? And that's what we call factoring. So what we're going to be doing first is, is problem A, and it says factor x squared plus 12x plus 20. So you can go ahead and set up your answer already, and we know it's going to be two sets of parentheses here. And what we're going to do to solve this problem is we are actually going to be using a generic rectangle and a diamond problem. Surprise, surprise. So here's how the technique works. Whatever the x squared term is, you're going to go ahead and put that in the bottom left corner. And whatever the number is, you're going to go ahead and put that in the right uh, top corner. All righty. And then what we're looking for is basically this. The last one, the x term, is going to go in the bottom of our diamond problem. And we learned in class that the product of the diagonals is equal to each other. So 20 times x squared is going to be our product that whatever these two mystery boxes are, these two mystery boxes are going to multiply to be 20x squared. But we also know they have to add up to be 12x because that's our x term. So now it's just really a diamond problem. So you start asking yourself, well, what multiplies to be 20 and what adds up to be 12? Well, what are those numbers? Well, they're, they're 2 and they're 10. 2 times 10 is 20, 2 plus 10 is 12, and all you have to do is slap in x's right here. So it's going to be 2x and 10x, and, and you come over here, put them into either box. It really doesn't matter where you put them, as long as you put 2x in one box and 10x in the other. And after this, all you got to do is think to yourself, hmm, what will my dimensions be? So what do these two have in common? They have an x in common. Uh, x times x gives me x squared. x times 10 gives me 10x. 10 times 2 gives me 20, so I can put a 2 over here. And of course, 2 times x is 2x, so this works here. So our dimensions are x plus 2 and x plus 10. So our final answer is going to be x plus 2 and x plus 10. So that's how the technique, technique works for uh, factoring. Let's do one more here. So in this case here, it's 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. So once again, how it works is you take the squared term, Put it in the bottom left, take the number, put it in the top right. Whatever the x term is, in this case it's plus 9x, that's going to go on the bottom over here. So I'm going to put 9x right over here. And if I multiply these two together to find their product, I get negative 10x squared. Alrighty, so what we do is we say, well, what multiplies to be negative 10x squared but adds up to be 9x? So first of all, I would just think in terms of just the numbers, so negative 10 and 9. So when you start thinking of the possibilities, 10 and 1, 2 and 5, uh, it'll come out as being a positive 10 and a negative 1. They multiply to be negative 10 and they add up to be positive 9, and then you just slap in the x's right here and you're good to go. Come over here, put the 10x in one of the boxes, put the negative 1x in another box, and you're just about done here. So first, what do these two have in common here? Well, an x goes into both of them. That's their common factor. So I'm going to put an x down here. If this is an x, this must be a 2x, because 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times something is 10x. Well, that would be a positive 5. 5 times negative 1 gives me this. And if I work my last box here, negative 1 times x is indeed negative 1x. So in factored form, this is 2x minus 1 and x plus 5. And just the final thing I want to note before we go any further is understand that the generic rectangle and the diamond problem is just a technique or a tool for getting the answer. The actual answer is what I'm circling here in red. So just doing the, the generic rectangle or the diamond problem alone isn't enough. Your answer is here circled in red. Same thing up here. This is your answer. It's the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 10. So that's what you need to know.